Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to another episode of Andrew's Journey. Uh, on this video, I'm going to briefly discuss how I cope with van life. Uh, but before I do, first of all, I just want to run you through real quick on my morning routine. I mean, basically in the morning, you know, I get up. I, I get up, I clean my van out a little bit. All the curtains I put up for sleeping, I take those down. I make up my bed just like I do at home. And right now I got me some breakfast. I mean, first of all, I got me some Speedway coffee. I mean, it's one of my favorite places to go for coffee. They're one of the cheapest. I mean, I paid, I mean, right now I'm paying less than a dollar for, for a 20 ounce cup of coffee, which I think is a pretty decent price. I had a coffee maker before, but it quit working, and I'm not going to buy another one because I think the power on those coffee makers that go into the Chill Volt lighter, which I had a video on it when I was do when I was showing the video with my van build, but I, I've used the coffee maker a handful of times, and the little Chill Volt plug-in thing burnt out on me, so right now I'm just going to Speedway every morning and buy me my coffee. So anyhow, I got my coffee. I got my oatmeal. And, I mean, and basically in this oatmeal, I got, I got bananas, blueberries, a little bit of honey. And when I go to Speedway to get my coffee, I also go in there and get my hot water for my oatmeal. So, I figure that's killing two birds on one stone. So rather than having to sit in this van and heat up hot water with my little water heating device, which I'll make a quick video about that. I mean, basically, I got this little water heating device. I mean, it's pretty good for heating up soups and heating up milk if I'm wanting to make oatmeal or hot water for oatmeal. But I figure if I'm going to Speedway to get coffee anyway, I'll just use their hot water. That'd be quicker that way. But just so you people know, one of these costs $14. You can buy these at Flying J. They do work. It, it is a 12 volt. And it does work pretty well. You just got to be careful to not keep these plugged in for much longer than 10 minutes. I mean, the package will even tell, will even tell you to, to not keep these plugged in for much longer than 10 minutes. But these do work pretty well. They do wonders in heating up soup. Just so, just a side note. It's worth the buy if you're living this man life and you don't got the proper solar setup slash battery bank to have a microwave and or an oven. That little device I just showed you is a wonderful way to heat up soups and, and milk and water for oatmeal or whatever the case you might need heated fluids for. Or if you're wanting to have some some hot tea, it's good for that too. Also, I got me some hard boiled eggs. I mean, these run $2 per six eggs, which in my opinion, it is a little pricey, but I don't have the proper setup to make my own eggs. So that's what I'm doing for eggs right now, because in the morning time, I, I just gotta have my eggs. I gotta have my coffee, my eggs, and my oatmeal. That's that's just who I am. You know what I mean? It is what it is. And also, I got my multivitamins. I take these religiously every morning. Just to make sure I'm getting enough nutrients for the day. And then also, I like to, you know, just to help myself stay hydrated. Because when you drink a bunch of coffee, it actually dehydrates you. The caffeine in the coffee will dehydrate you. So... It's important to drink plenty of water, so obviously I got my water. I have two of these things of water in the morning. And then after I eat, I'll just sit around in this van and watch YouTube for maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Like when I'm at home after I eat, I'll stay in front of my computer and I'll play around on the computer and watch YouTube for around 15 to 20 minutes. And then after I do that, I'll... You know, typically I'll, like when I'm at home, I'll get up from the computer, you know, wash my dishes, let the food digest a little bit, then I'll go work out, and then after I work out, 
I'll come back home and start getting ready for work because I typically work in the afternoons. Now living this van life, you know, one big thing that helps me cope this that helps me cope with this van life is is uh I have a routine. Every day I have a routine. Like when I get up in the morning, I I take down all my night curtains, I fold up my blanket that I, I fold up my cover that I sleep on and make everything nice and neat in the back. I drain the water from my ice cooler because you know when you have an ice cooler like I have, which I've showed you on a couple of my videos, the ice does melt and to most and to keep and to keep your and to make your ice in your cooler last the longest, the best thing to do is to drink your cooler multiple times a day. Now, typically with me, I'll drink my cooler out three to four times a day because doing it will keep your food a little colder for a little longer. So like when I wake up in the morning, that's another thing I do. I'll drink, I'll drink all the fluid out of my cooler. And then when I get done doing all that, I'll go into the gas, I'll go into the Travel Plaza building, use the bathroom, wash my hands. Then I'll come out to the van and I will drive down the street a little bit to Speedway, get my coffee, heat up my water. And then I'll come back to the van and sit in here and eat and watch YouTube. And also I'll let my phone charge. And then when I get done eating, I'll leave this area. I'll drive into town, go work out, you know, work out, shower, brush my teeth, shave, do all that wonderful stuff, and then go to work. And then once I'm at work, in the parking lot, I'll go ahead and get all my stuff ready. I'll get my lunch ready, and, and I might eat me a little meal before I punch the clock. I might watch a little more YouTube or I might make a couple of phone calls or whatever. I mean basically the, the same kind of routine I had when I was when I'm at home in sticks and bricks I try to duplicate that routine to the best of my ability living in a van traveling the country. I mean that's because to me that's the best way that I know to cope with living in a van. Now I don't mean to come off as being negative as, as if I don't like living a van life, but you know, let's be real. I mean, I'll be honest. I mean, there was a time that when I first started living this van life, I would say a week or so into it, I almost decided to quit doing the van life and just get me an apartment or check into a hotel. But another thing that helps me live, that helps me stay living this van life also is I recognize the fact that A, it's a lot cheaper to live this man life than it is to live in an apartment or a hotel. And B, some of the freedoms you get living like this, I mean financial freedom and other freedoms, like, like here's an example. Like when I say freedom, obviously if I'm living like this in a van, I mean I can pick and choose where I want to sleep at night and what views I want to have around me. But more importantly than that, and this kind of taps into the financial aspect of things, like when it comes to the type of work that I choose to do here in Alabama or anywhere I choose to travel to for that matter while I'm living out of my van, like if I'm living in an apartment or I'm living in a hotel, there, you know, my, my overhead is going to increase significantly so there's going to be a certain amount of money minimally that I'm going to have to make which means I'm going to most likely have to work jobs that I don't desire to work and I'm going to have to work more hours than what I desire to work so I figure living this man life it allows me to be a little more choosy and a little and a little more selective in terms of what type of work I want to do and to some extent to the and, and to some extent, the amount of hours I want to work. Now, the last time I spoke about work, I was working at the Honda. I was working at the Hyundai plant. I mean, at this point, I'm no longer at the Hyundai plant. I quit. 
and I'll make another video elaborating why I quit that job. I mean, at this point, I'm working another job. It does pay a little less, but the work, in my opinion, is a lot less stressful. And I just like the line of work that I do much better than I did when I was at the Hyundai plant. Now, if I was living, if I had to pay rent or I had to pay for a hotel stay, I would have had to stay at the Hyundai plant because I would have had to have that type of income to be able to afford my housing exp expenses. As for if I'm living in a van like I am right now, I don't have to worry about housing expenses. I mean, the, the money I pay to live out of this van is going to be a lot cheaper than any housing setup. So, due to the fact that I live out of my van, I, with ease, was able to quit the Hyundai plant and to work another line of work, which I like much better. So, I'll make another video discussing that at a later date. But, and also living this van life with, the, with some of the money I save is still... I'm still able to continue to invest in my retirement funds with that I set up back several months ago. And also I'm able to do a little bit of traveling around, you know, look at houses, do videos about those houses. I'm able to kind of, you know, just sightsee a little bit, see what's here in Alabama. And I'm also able to save some money because later on I'm going to do like some more traveling like I'm gonna go down to Mobile then I'm gonna go into southern Mississippi and then I'm gonna go into Louisiana I wanna go to Baton Rouge and also New Orleans and also if things go right I would like to spend some time in Florida this coming Christmas so you know I look forward to doing those kind of things and if I had to pay rent for an apartment or a hotel, I don't think I would be able to do those things. As for if I'm living out of my van, it's going to be a lot more feasible for me financially to do those type of travels. And as time went by, I've also gotten used to living out of my van. I've gotten used to people looking at me a certain way, and I'm to the point where, you know, people can look at me however they want to look at me. I don't really, I don't really care. I mean, not that I cared in the first place, but at first, it was kind of awkward, it was weird, but now, I guess I'm a little more comfortable in my own skin in that aspect, and now, I don't really care how people look at me. I don't, I just don't care. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. I don't want to get in too long, so until the next time, take care, and I'll see you on the next video.